Foster. And tonight, two Red Cross volunteers from the Milwaukee area are in Fairdale helping people recover. For one volunteer, it's his first deployment, but the other has witnessed the heartache of disaster twice before. Oh my gosh, oh my God, oh my God. This is the twister that flattened Fairdale, killing two people. The disaster zone stretches for miles. It's total devastation. So what our workers are going to do is get down there and just start giving them a hand. Today, two Red Cross volunteers pack their suitcases and the relief vehicle in Milwaukee and headed to Fairdale to help. Basically, they're going to just roam the, the neighborhoods where the tornado hit and look for people who are cleaning up. They're going to feed them, they're going to give them bottled water, and they're going to give them any cleaning supplies they might need. It's an emotional journey for volunteer Juan Diaz. And it's a blessing for me and for us to, to be able to help. He's helped out in disaster areas twice in the past five years. I've seen the people how they struggle to make it I, I seen their worries. Glenn Frank, a retired science teacher, is making his first deployment. It's a little spooky. It's scary when you see people when they lose the things that they've lost. Volunteers from across the Midwest are already making an impact. People, complete strangers, have been working with me for two days. They won't leave me. They won't leave our sides. They're helping us put tarps on the roofs. Um, picking up debris, helping us pack up our things. And the volunteers from Southeast Wisconsin will be there for at least two weeks, but that time could be extended if necessary, so our appreciation goes out to them for helping out. The